Hello everybody, it's Galaxin here. If you guys enjoyed this video, I hope that you guys will join our Discord server or become patrons over on Patreon. Uh, so I hope, uh, again, that you guys enjoy this. So we're going to talk about the conversation between uh, Raven and Yang, but I think that you uh, should go first, Hunter, and just kind of give out your thoughts on, um, I don't know, like basically, uh, obviously what they said to each other, but also how you felt about it, like from a narrative perspective, like if you liked what they did, what you think about um, things that were said and stuff like that. Well, I, I gotta say the acting was really strong from uh, Yang's voice actor and from Raven. Both of them seemed very into that scene, made it very believable, like took you really into the emotion of it. Also, I, I really like what it did, maybe not for, I don't know, for the narrative. I don't know if it did much for the narrative other, other than making sure that uh, it was Yang who ended up getting the, um... The, the, the Spring Maiden powers? Not in Spring Maiden in powers, case Raven but died? the, uh, What are you talking about? No, the, um... The relic. The relic, yes. So, I, I thought you were talking about that stupid theory that, like, Raven was gonna come up from the fucking ground no. and kill her or whatever. Uh oh okay. I thought the game might have crashed right there. I was like, not again. Okay. So anyway, if you continue. Yeah. So I I thought that worked real. I mean, she put up a good case to be like, really, if you don't, if you want Cinder or not Cinder, you you fucking took out Cinder. If you want Salem to like not bother with you anymore, this seems like a pretty good way of having it. So she she made a good argument. She also made a good argument for like, listen, you like I understand <laughs> like, what 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 you have is not strength, like, your cynicism isn't helping anyone. And I feel like she really did take that to heart. Like, yeah. She, she seemed to, like, in that moment, reconsider all of her life choices. Like, Raven? Yes, yeah, Raven. yeah. Very I think quickly. that she definitely did, um, for sure. And, and so, I look, you look at that, and you think, okay, that's, that's definitely development. Which is why I think that this works so well with the end credit scene because you feel like she's now greatly reconsidering her like the way she's treated people and the way she's felt about her own existence and survival and notions of bravery and basically like because like her whole sense of self so far has has been rooted in the idea that you know i'm strong i do what's necessary but basically yang says like no you're not really strong <laughs> Yeah, not you're not, a strong person like, strong does. people, like, fight for others, basically, mm -hmm. in Yang's mind. That, that is Yang's definition mm -hmm. of strength, is to And she seems to fight be for really people. considering that, so much so that she looks like she ran back to her ex-husband. Which, God, that must be an awkward I mean, I guess, I feel like they've talked more, though. Like, in between their time apart. I feel like I her, feel like they definitely uh, talk to each other more than they let on. I don't uh, know. I feel, I get the feeling that, like, Crow and her maybe a little bit, but not Ty and Ty and Raven. I don't get the... I think she visits I once in a like while, like, hey, Ty, like, how are you doing with my dog? Because obviously so, she comes to see Yang in Volume doing? 4, right? Imagine that, or Volume like, 4, sorry. Yeah. She, yeah, I think she does hang around in Volume 4, but she also hangs around, uh, Yang sees the bird at her window. Maybe. Was that Crow? No, I think that was implied to be more Raven, because Crow had already, uh, fucked. Or maybe it's just Fucked bird. right off. But, uh... I just imagine, like, like Raven never shows up except for a parent-teacher interview. Oh my god. Like, yeah. she like, she shows up just like, she fucking did what? And it's like, Raven, what are if you doing? Like, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, exactly. do not interrupt me, I'm the mother. Okay, oh, what did this little shit do? Um. <laughs> no, I'm talking to Tai Yang. I also like okay. how Tai Yang was, like, gardening. Yeah, like, he was just, he, he was, now? he is the spring maiden. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, so, yeah, I just, I really liked their conversation, because it didn't go how I thought it would, if that made sense, but, like, there is no correct way to talk to your, like, she just talked to her like she was a regular person, if that makes sense. Like, she talked to Raven like she was a stranger, because she has no real connection to her in terms of her being her mom, right? And so there's not really any way to talk to someone who was supposed to be your mother but then ran out on you and now you're fighting a war against the gods. Like, there's no correct way. There's no, there's no layman's term Yeah, for there's this no, event. there's no correct way to talk to, so I'm, I really, I am happy with the conversation they had, but I do agree with you. I think that Yang is really, like, redefining, uh, redefining strength in a way. Like, she is showing what being strong means to her and, 
you know, I don't know. I just think that that's really powerful. But you were talking, sorry. You were talking about parent-teacher <laughs> interviews. My dad never came to my parent-teacher interviews, I don't think. Well, your dad doesn't love you, so... Well, I mean, we are, we are in your <laughs> 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 Oh, that was fucked up. He, he's a patron. Anyways. He's a patron. Um... Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, what was I saying again? Yeah. Like so yeah, he he's probably gonna message me after this video and be like, "Kalen, don't listen to what Hunter says. He's just trying to alienate you from me so he can take you. I don't know that's, or something that's like some weird creepy, some okay. weird creepy narrative, like something like that." Um. And so, anyway, so, yeah, I, I feel like that Raven probably checked in with Ty before that, because he has this look on his face, like, he knows exactly what's gonna happen. Like, he has this sour look on his face, like, Raven, like, he knows, like, this has Raven, happened before. You motherfucker. And so, you, you kind of have that, um... But anyways, yeah, I just, I really enjoyed their conversation. Like, I think it was great, great acting, definitely. Great voice acting. It was a bit awkward, I guess. But, like, again, there's no, there's no non-awkward way to have this conversation. Because it's basically Yang uh, saying that, um, that she's a bitch ass. You know what I mean? Uh, like, you know what I mean? Like, there's not any any way to uh, con convey that in a non-awkward setting because, and I, I like how into it that Yang was getting, like, I don't want to say into it because that makes it sound sort of sexual, but, like, it just, I don't know how to explain this. Like, it just, it was one of those things where, like, Yang was, like, sort of almost cocky about it. She was like, so what are you? Are you merciful or are you a sur survivor? Like, you know, like lines like that. She's kind of toying with her a little bit. Like she's kind of doing the same thing that Raven did to her when they first met and it's coming back at her, you know? And I think that Yang makes a convincing oh God, argument for the relic. <laughs> it's a combo, <laughs> Hunter. I know, it's just so crazy. She's like doing flips and shit. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think that, um... What was I saying again? I think that uh, it was a really nice sort of like toying back and forth. You know what I mean? Anyways, right? Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Like it was this sort of like, so are you merciful? Tell me this, mother. You know, like all of those lines. Like mother it was very. It was, who bore me. Sorry. No, it was very. <laughs> imagine um, if imagine if Ruby became Rent. Someone must have made that fanfic. Probably, made, yeah. Right? That's not Rent. That's Spring Awakening. Oh, that's Spring Awakening. Okay, I always get the Bitch two ass! Mixed up. Okay. I always get the two mixed up. It's about fucking angsty teenagers or something. Or, I mean, I guess they weren't teenagers, but they sure fucking acted like them. Anyways, continue. Yeah, and so I, I just, I really enjoyed that. Like, I think it was realistic in a sense. Like, obviously, it was realistic. Yes, it was but realistic. I mean, who hasn't, fought their, yeah. who hasn't fought with their mother in a magical dungeon? I mean, come on. Although, not for nothing, wouldn't you want to, like, walk around in that weird abyss place they ended up in? Like, you know, stroll through the desert? Yeah, I don't I'm understand what that is, but, like, um... Like, they went to, like, another dimension? Am I the only one who's kind of, like... Yeah, well, I'll talk about that later. Well, that's fine. So, yeah, I just, I, again, I really just enjoyed their conversation. I think that Yang brought up a lot of good points. Like, Salem is just gonna hunt you down, but she'll be too... Because, okay, so here's how I see things, okay? So, Salem needs the maidens to get the relics. Like, she doesn't need the maidens on their own. She just wants the relics. Like, I think that's where we're getting at. And the only reason why she promised Cinder, like, um, the maiden powers is because she needs all the maiden powers to get the relics, but she would have disposed of Cinder afterwards, uh, if she didn't need her anymore. Does that make sense? Because yeah. you only need the although maidens get... to unlock the relic door, that's true, right? although I do get the sense that she's kind of fun, Cinder. And so... That she has people she likes and people she doesn't like. I yeah, I mean, I, I don't mean it like that. I just mean that I, I think that Salem was only using uh, Cinder's kind of drive for power in order to manipulate her to go get the relics uh, because she, oh, you can have all these maiden powers, but you gotta go get me the relics. Like, I feel like uh, Salem really only cares about the relics, and so in that way, they don't need the spring maiden anymore, right? They only need the relic, and so Yang basically gave her mom an out to get left alone. Uh, so to speak. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Like, I feel like I explained that in a very confusing but sort of way. Gave, yeah, but I think her, that you guys understand, right, that, like, like you don't, Salem you... doesn't need to go after the Spring Maiden if the Relic is not in the vault. Like, there's no, there's no, no real reason, um, 
for her to do that. Basically, the idea is that if you really don't give a shit, just give it to me and you can go off and not yeah. care somewhere else. But then you get the idea that maybe Raven might care. Yeah. And that's why I think that she's talking, yeah, obviously. We're going to talk about this later. Uh, but obviously, I think that she is um, going to go talk to Ty, right? And so that's going to be a whole thing. But yeah, again... I just, I, I think that, again, Yang brought up some really good points, and I think Raven saw those points, but we talked about this in the analysis. I think that Raven just thought that she didn't have any other choice, and as soon as she was presented another choice, it gave her an out, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So I feel like that that, um, I don't know, that was just very It gave good. her an excuse It gave her an excuse like to pretend not. like, oh, okay, Yang, you can have it if you want. You know, like, it was one of those sort of like situations. We know you have but she was heart. crying, right? So she actually yeah. genuinely appreciated that Yang would do that for her. Or not her. even that, but she Almost. feels, tor like, she feels it torn like up about it, genuinely right? challenged that, like, she's looking at the way in the, the way in which she was able to view her life comfortably. Oh, yeah, that for too, years. for sure. It just got challenged. And but, yeah. successfully, if you can Because Raven even says, like, you don't understand what I've been through. Yang is giving her an out not to go through that pain anymore, it's just right? like, motherfucker, do you see that I'm missing an arm? I... <laughs> oh. And so, yeah. But you know what I mean, right? I'm sad that Brunel's dead. Also, oh I, like, I love how no one picked up her corpse. Like, is she just, like, the next person's just gonna find bones there? I don't know. Like, Someone uh... will deal with it. But y you know what I mean, right? Mm -hmm. That, um... It is kind of like, okay, well, like, if you suffered for a long time, fine, I'll take it. Like, they're both pretty much trying to say, like, nice, uh, things to each other, uh, so to speak. But they're doing it in a very roundabout way, I guess you could say. But anyway, again, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember that. You guys should be patrons over on Patreon. Or, uh, you should, uh, join our Discord server and, uh, have fun with us. Okay. And we will see you later. Bye.